Welcome back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of April 15th. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally through the internet. Through. Alex, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm trying to get used to this ca- this camera angle because it's like it's over here and mm. I'm just like... It's like, it's, it's, you're at an angle, but you're getting a good. You got a good angle on your yeah, right, right, right straight on. But yours yeah. is like you got a good angle. I'm, shot I have it. I'm trying to get at a good angle because I'm trying mm. to show like you know this beard off. So I'm trying to get that good like <laughs> right. streamer view for all the audio listeners. Yeah, he has mm-hmm. it like at a I'd say a 45 degree angle to what your computer would be almost mm-hmm. kind of like that, and yeah. it's just straight on him, and it looks great. Now I love the natural lighting coming from the giant monitor in front of you. So <laughs> it's it looks thirty-two great. inch. It's, I mean, yeah, it's and it's crazy obnoxious. because it's the desktop, so you can't really. I mean, I guess you you can turn the brightness down, but I mean, but why would you, right? Right. right? Just saturation, I mean, hundred. That's what I say. Sure, sure, That's right. what I say. Now, diligent achievers mm-hmm. would notice that I'm in a new room. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Look you at got this. A, oh, you have an office now. Look at this. I can get back here. I do that. You have an office now. I have so much. So much room. So much room for activities, you know? You ever watch Step Brothers, Alex? Uh, yes. I'm wild today. I love it. So fun. But yeah, Mm -hmm. I have a giant. That's what I've been doing. We've had to take a week off so I could properly move. Mm -hmm. So so if you missed this last week, that's what I was doing. We only miss when something important is happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now I got this. Amen. I'm gonna go. Over, I'm gonna go. I could touch that. Look, look, that's all space, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah. This is great. I love it. Mm-hmm. And you look know what? That. It is. It, it is yours to decorate however you wish. That's true. Now, I mean, you see me. I have decorations here. I have a TV over here. My, this is just gonna be all about me now. I want to show the achievers. Now, whatever this is down here. Don't die, achievers. Don't die. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one of these. Oh, yeah. Are you going to do one of these things where you take the webcam off and just... So, like, I just wanted to show the achievers. So, that's all... That's this really nice mouse pad I got today. I love oh it. Oh, my God. Dude, that's huge. It's huge. It's it's like the desk. But I love now, it. I'll put your back. Now, is that For audio the list- there? No, it is not. It's perfectly to the edge. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Are you doubting me? Sounds like it's you're nice doubting me. Nice. Sounds like you're no, doubting no, that it's no. to the edge. Oh, Jesus. Achievers. I mean, don't fall. I got you. <laughs> whatever's uh, whoever's watching this is probably getting sick. Probably don't look directly in my it's, eyes it's, right oh, now. They're, there we go. They're, they're watching Cloverfield right now. Oh God, with the shaky cam. Like, <laughs> do you guys see it? You never <laughs> actually see it, and they're like, "Oh my God, did you guys see it?" And he's like the running. Only ta- the only time that you see it, it, spoilers, it's at the very end where it just is. You're just under it, and it kills you. Apparently, you're the only one that it wants to kill. What? What? Really? Like, I mean, no. I oh, know. okay. It kills, like, the monster kills everybody. Got but it. it is literally the monster stops literally everything to look down at you and then kills you. Like, really? Interesting. <laughs> or not kills you, but you know, I know, you know the what person, I mean. Like, the, yeah, yeah. The the guy with the camera. That's... I'm saying you because I'm so used to video games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you're you're the first person guy. It's like Outlast, mm-hmm. right? Everyone played yes. Outlast. We all know that. We need, Don't to do, worry. we need to do a let's play of that, dude. We could. We could. I want to play um, The New Emily is Away. That's what I want. Mm, if you don't know what mm. that is, it's a fantastic game. I, I'm blanking on the gentleman's name. I believe he is almost by himself. If not, he has very few people working for him. It's called Emily is Away. If you remember the old group group chat rooms on like AOL and stuff, it's a game basically you about that. Now, now, this is the third one. And it's about now Facebook. So it's like a Facebook messenger chat thing. And you play as like a teenager going through their life. And you eventually like go through college. It's awesome. It, it, I Describing doesn't do you good justice. If you have a computer, Steam, buy it. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for the third one. It's coming soon. Alex. Yes. We are not an, uh, an Emily is Away podcast. That's where you That's what. <laughs> We're not that. No, no, no. We are a video game podcast we come to you every single friday sometimes when we got the news that you need to know we report on it talk about it and maybe just maybe have a good idea about it now if you like that don't worry 
There's plenty of ways that you could support us. We're going to start today with the paid way. If you have extra dineros during all of this pandemic nonsense, of course, take care of you and yours first, please. You can head over to patreon.com slash Achievers and give us a dollar. It's literally cents a day. Gives you plenty of tears. Gives you the ability to message us. Any questions, comments, concerns, thought, and or ideas. Now you might be asking yourself, I, I don't have that dollar, or I don't think you're worth it yet. I understand that. We will prove <laughs> it to you, but... If you want to be a freeloader, cheap skate, or just want to save some money, I understand that. You can do a bunch of free ways to support us as well. You can like, comment, subscribe on this YouTube video that you're watching right now. And if you're on a podcast service, it's even easier. You go over, give us a five-star review. Say, say Alex's hair looks very nice today. And, the, and that's it. That's the only thing in the review. Say today Thank specifically. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just, to kind of, just to make the review just a little weird. And then that helps us with the algorithms, you see. That's all we need help. That's all you know, algorithms. There's one more thing we are on now. At least I started to be on. Okay. What is this? We we, we got Twitch. You know, we're, yes! we're, we're, we, I started streaming. We're going to try and stream some. Yeah, I started streaming some Valorant, some I'm Overwatch. Centered. I'm over you're centered. centered. Yeah. I'm centered, but it's not. There we go. Much bet, much bet. You get all of this now. Yeah, but, you get everything. But yeah, we're gonna try streaming when we can. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of free time, but we're gonna try. Yeah, no, it's not scheduled. It's you, 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 you get the videos. Go over there, search Easy Achievers, click that follow button. Mm -hmm. It'll Just tell you. It'll tell you. The boy, I am in the camera. There you go, Alex gave you a thing. You watch him be uncomfortable. I love watching it. I sometimes that's why sometimes I just leave the podcast and I'll just be off off camera just and he just and they just just to watch the sweat. I love it. Now Alex, yeah, I feel great today. I'm not gonna lie to you. You feel yeah, yeah. I feel, feel great. Good. And I wanna ask you a question, yeah. Alex. You ready? Uh -oh. What's that question? I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know. Uh, what have you been playing? I, I for a second, okay, for a second right. I, blinked, I, was like, I was like, oh my god, what happened? I, I was playing. like, I was like, nothing. That's great. No, um, Moving on. Recently, we actually, we actually, we actually started playing Avengers again for that we did. DLC. We did. We played the yep. Kate Bishop DLC. No turning yes, back. I feel like I just made that up. I have no idea what it's called. Taking aim. Taking aim. Taking aim. Yeah. No it, turning back. What are you thinking? Uh, it sounds familiar. It's Last of Us, I think. Walking Dead. Uh, no, uh, that's no left behind. Yeah, that is the. Uh, I don't know. It's familiar though. But anyways, yeah, we no we played some adventures. It's fun. It's it's dumb fun. Mm -hmm. I can turn my brain off and I just play a game. It's it's great. Yeah. Uh, we don't really have much releasing, so there's nothing new really to talk about. It's more of just the same stuff. But mm -hmm. it's a perfect time to go back in the backlog and play some stuff. I don't really yeah. have too much to say. I've been doing the moves. So I've been very busy. So it's really just been me and Alex yeah. playing the occasional game of some Marvel Avengers, some League of Legends, yeah. some Valorant, things like. That. Just things I, I can very yeah, quickly I, pick I, up and play. I down. just played uh, the event for Apex yesterday. It's pretty How good. Was that? I like it. It's it's interesting. There's five modes. Okay. Throughout the circulate, and I uh -huh. played the first one that I played was right. I think it's called Second Chance. You die if you die, you don't automatically like die. You yeah. it, it's like your body. You just see yourself go up into the air and come back, and you just you re dive, but you still have all your stuff. Okay. And it's. Just so just you like still have all your stuff. You down. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. And and like let's say if I try if I kill someone or somebody kills me. Yeah. Like, or okay for first, if I kill someone, I can't loot their box because they're still alive technically. They have a second chance, so I can't loot them. Huh. But if, I think some stuff do drop. Yeah. Because I I I had killed somebody and like some cells and some ammo had had dropped. Mm -hmm. But uh, you don't fully. Are lootable until you fully die the second time. Okay. And then I, I love which one I like. There's an armor regen. There's no cells. There's only bats. Mm -hmm. And I played this with our uh, friend of ours that we play with. Yeah. And uh, let's say I get popped, like all my shields go off. Right. I can wait maybe a couple seconds, and your in your your shield just comes starts coming up. And it's 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 fun because you can you can it's easy to get that that those badges. I almost yeah. I almost did a two K badge, and I rarely get two K. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's yeah our friend almost got 4k damage yeah he's nuts now yeah, he's just popping. that's pretty cool i might have to yeah. try this i have been, yeah. i do want to play the event before it's gone and mm -hmm. the achievers know that we're fans of, of apex so i will play get back to it 
And that adds to a list of all the other games. I want to get mm-hmm. back to Destiny 2 because they're having Guardian games on April 20th. I didn't play the last time they did this, and I really want to try it this time. I want to mm. play that. Um, we have um, a Mass Effect around the corner. We got Returnal soon. Dude, so, I'm I mean, so ready the, for the, Mass the Effect. The games are coming. Oh, God, me too. Me too. I'm like right the there. times I see like, Mass Effect on Steam or on Xbox, I'm like, should I replay this right now? And I was like, I can't because mm-hmm. the game is coming out like in a month. Alex. And it kills me. Oh. Hmm. Now, we have a segment called, Is This Worth My Time? We also have a segment called Rumor Roundup. I'm going to kind of combine these two right now. The first one is, okay. Is It Worth My Time? Now, this is a new job listing that was, um, you could say leaked. And that wasn't really mm-hmm. leaked. They showed us, whatever. However you want to call it. A new job listing for, um, I, w- I want to say it was Cloud Studios, did reveal that they're wanting to hire people with open world knowledge. And of course, Cloud Chambers is working on the next Bioshock. So if you put two and two together, mm-hmm. you can assume that the next Bioshock is probably going to have an open world either component or it will be an open world game. Um, I don't think there's too much to talk about because we haven't, we don't even know what Bioshock is without Ken Levine, um, mm-hmm. as that is of course the main game director behind the the franchise. So I don't even know really, I'll be honest, how I feel about this. I. As soon as I saw the, the news first, I went, eh, I don't, I kind of don't want that because we have so many open worlds. And then I was like, if they nail it, though, I'll be happy because I'll have plenty of, of now, extra things to do, like side quests. And like that. Now, since would you, I, I guess it's the, the the games before, they're not open world, they're more what, sandbox? It'd be linear is what I'd call it with um, I mean, side it's, it's, things. I mean, it's not full linear, but I think there's. You're some, right. It's it's very sandboxy, but it's yeah. to an extent. Yeah, it's a linear with it's sandbox environments. It's definitely less open world than God of War. <laughs> yeah, because God of War is. I don't. Would you consider God of War a full flesh open world or? Less? No, it's more of a action adventure. Okay. Yeah. there's scales it's weird yeah yeah it, at one point do you, are you a sandbox at one point because mm-hmm. i don't think many people say sandbox anymore i think that's more of an old term yeah i still like saying it because it's very clear what you say very it's classic, not a, yeah. it's not an open world it's it's a smaller tight world similar to like something like uh what's an even example and in, no infamous isn't a good example uh, but uncharted? Um, no, no. Uncharted, uncharted uncharted four yeah, had, had some thinking. sandbox elements. Yeah. Uh, no spoilers. Last of Us Part Two has some similar aspects to that too. So, I don't know. I I am of the mind of, eh. I want to see the game. For sure. Uh, moving on. This is the rumor. So I'm gonna caveat all this for what I'm about to say, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think at the end. So there's a rumor by a known insider. That has gotten stuff right before. Namely, he had Kingdom Hearts at um uh I, I believe he had the Kingdom Hearts rumor for Epic Game Store, correct? Mm-hmm. And then I, I think another rumor. This was also collaborated with a podcast I started listening to as well. It's called The Finding Duke, the next box podcast. And it sounds like it is probably happening, and if not, it will happen soon. So the rumor was, and I forget the Twitter account, to be honest, I apologize. I will grab that for you next week. But the rumor is Persona 5 Royal will be coming to Xbox. It will also come to Game Pass. Ugh. Now, Ugh. I believe it because no, you of, the, of where the... Uh, I know, I didn't. I would have swore PlayStation <laughs> would have given them a dump a trunk full of money to make sure it does not go to mm-hmm. xbox now as a reminder atlas is now owned by sega sega likes money they like remaking games so i, I could see where money. this has come from i wouldn't be surprised um and this was brought up on the actually uh, the podcast i listened to i wouldn't be surprised if persona 4 golden also made this jump to xbox which would i mean are you kidding me that'd be a, i would cry if that happened but I can Dude, see Persona 5 oh, Royal. I'd be, I, yeah, I've been so upset with myself. 
no, yeah, I, I could see it too. I feel like it's gonna happen. Cause and I four is a stretch, but I would love to because I'm still mad at myself for not finishing four. I mean, they put it on but PC. I'm and definitely gonna replay those. And maybe they were gauging interest, but that was just so random. They just put it on PC one day. Maybe. No, like it was like shadow dropped. It was mm-hmm. a huge seller. Is I think it's like I forget what oh, it was. Sure. I think it was like the best game sold that month or something crazy like that. So I mean. I don't think I wouldn't put it past Sega to to not make any more exclusive deals and be like we're going to everything because it's it made Sega they like money. No, for sure. I don't have anything that I've heard concretely, so I can't say anything on it. I I don't know one two ways about it, but I do believe where it comes from, and I do believe the person that then cooperated that that's what they have heard as well. Alex, mm. there was mm. a huge hubbub. Over this last week, everyone's mm. talked about it. Everyone's been discussing their thoughts, and I think everyone who is listening to this podcast has already heard their thoughts on it. And I've all probably already talked about it with their friends and things. I want to talk about it with you specifically because I want to know what your thoughts are. Second, I also want okay. to just be pissed off for a little while. Okay, that's that's the two reasons mm-hmm. I want to bring it up. I want your thoughts, and I, and I want to be and I want to be pissed for a second. Now, okay. over okay. the week. I want to say it was, uh, I want to actually, let me see when this went live, because I don't want to be wrong here. So this is on Bloomberg by Drayson Schreier. Uh-oh. This came Uh-oh. up April, you, you make sure. April 9th. So April 9th, this was, this is as of recording, this is April 15th. So it's been almost a week um, mm-hmm. to the day. It'll be to the day tomorrow. So this was over the weekend. People talked about it and things like that. Uh, Jason Schreier, one of the, I would say, one of and also almost only the best investigative journalist out in gaming right now. He is actually getting scoops and stories and kudos to that guy. Now, second, go read this article. It's called Sony's obsession with blockbusters is stirring unrest within PlayStation empire. Go give this a click, go give it a read. Cause it's actually a really fantastic and fascinating read to kind of see the behind the doors on how these uh, certain deals are made and what is talked about and things like that. Now, that being said, these this uh, article covers a few things, but it covers, I think, two things that are very important to talk about. One, Sony Bend wanted to make a Days Gone 2. Man. And you know what? Instead of, a, instead of kind of, I'm going to pull a direct quote from the article. So, direct quote, quote, Oregon-based Sony Bend, best known for the 2019 open-world action game Days Gone, tried unsuccessfully to pitch a sequel that year so the year of course that days gone came out according with people familiar with the mm-hmm. proposal although the first game had been profitable its development had been lengthy and critical reception was mixed so a days gone 2 wasn't seen as a uh, viable option end quote now that's a direct quote from someone he has talked about instead one team at the studio was assigned to help naughty dog with a multiplayer game, while a second group was assigned to work on a new Uncharted game with supervision from Naughty Dog. Some staff, including Top Lees, were unhappy with this arrangement and left. Ben's developers feared they might be absorbed into Naughty Dog, and the studio's leadership asked to be taken off the Uncharted project. They got their wish last month and are now working on a new game of their own that will be part of a brand new franchise. That is a loaded two paragraphs right there. So Alex, I want to pick apart this. I want to start with the very beginning. Days Gone 2 was pitched and denied. Now, do you do you do you know what they pitched like what they pitched with i do it was it was talked like, about like, and... they, they'd be like hey this is what this is what's gonna be so i don't know the the full of the full it was mentioned of, uh, about a day or two later what they actually pitched it was a co-op um mm-hmm. game that had like a shared world it's a sh- mm-hmm. right is it's that a, yeah, is a, that what you've heard too be an, yeah it was gonna be a co a co-op uh on a uh, gameplay in the world is shared so i assume that meaning like let's say i'm doing something in my world i mm-hmm. can just jump to yours and i can yeah. keep doing what i was doing you keep doing your stuff yeah which now, is I, how why not now there could be 
a lot of reasons. Now, me and Alex aren't going to really discuss. I feel like the business side of this. Frankly, I don't. Mm-hmm. I, uh, frankly, I, I don't care about the business side. I, I'm not the one making the money. So I want to talk with mm-hmm. Alex now. We both like Days Gone. So you loved Days Gone. I, I liked it. Yes. Yes. I know you're disappointed. Correct. Now, can you tell me? Uh, I'm disappointed because I feel like it's. I feel like them denying this pitch. It's gonna be even harder for them to now make the sequel to this IP because it's like, oh, we. I feel like this was such a good idea for this IP, and they denied it. Or should we keep using our time for this, or just completely forget the asset and mm-hmm. just go to something new? Mm-hmm. Now that's my worry is that that's what they're gonna do is option two. They're yeah. gonna just be like, we'll just go on with something else, and that mm-hmm. sucks. Yeah, so what will probably happen is Days Gone is either completely done and gone, and we'll probably never see it again. And if we do see it again, it might not be by Ben. And if it is by Ben, it won't be for another probably seven, eight years. Minimum, before Mm -hmm. we even hear about it. I think... Hopefully there's a petition. (laughs) (laughs) I think it is... There was actually, I believe, a petition to get Days Gone 2 made or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, what really upsets me... And I don't want to call anyone out. I don't want. I don't want to just come across as rude at all. But they it's can't. Podcast. We can they can't. Want. They can't make Days Gone two. But Media Molecule can make Dreams, which is a which is which. When was the last time you heard anything about Dreams? And they're still like making stuff for that. So you could make you could like justify Days Gone two, and it you, sold you, pretty you know well. What the point of dream- you know what the point of dream was? A like, uh, what are they called? A um, um, like a game designer tool. God, what the, yes, it's a game designer tool, and people who upload it, it's pretty much here's uh my inner here's my resume of what I can do. So then then people like then studios would look at this this creator on dreams. Did super well. Let's yeah. hit him up and see if he's interested in mm-hmm. joining us. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a it's a it's a tool to gain more people into the company. I mean, I could see. Now that. I'm sure. Now I'm sure it's you know the game is fun. I'm sure it's cool. But like like for example, the Dead Space dude, the one that created Dead Space, looked right. awesome. Yeah. Like, if Visceral was still a thing, they would have been like, "We want this guy for Dead Space 4. That's true. That's true. Yeah, he knows. Like, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but it's quite frustrating when not only the uh, here. Let me. It's frustrating because they even there's just said so many that layers because, they, it's frustrating because they even said that it that one was profitable. Yes, they made so money like, off it. Why not? And, and this, I think, is is becoming the crux of why this article is so important. Mm. It, they're making it clear. And that's even the title of the article. It's Sony's obsession with blockbusters. So they're making so Sony wants it to be clear that they want their studios that aren't making Uncharted, God of War, Ratchet and Clank, Horizon. I'll just stop naming there. Like they're four giant blockbuster titles. Spider Man. Sorry. Almost forgot yeah. Spider Man. Spider Man. If you're not working on those, then it sounds like you're gonna be a supporting studio. So that means mm-hmm. San Diego it has been support. First off, this is another thing in the article. Sony San Diego was like supporting to try and make that Uncharted game with Ben. And then Ben doesn't want to do it. So they left that project. And there's just so much. Now, the um, uh, there and again, there's sort of two stories in this. Um, a gentleman named, I don't want to butcher his name. So I want to go to the article real quick. Um, Michael Mumbara. Uh, which is um, which he used to be uh, the Visual Arts Service Group, Mumbar, Mumbar. Thank you. Um, and he recruited like thirty people, and they were going to make a remake of Last of Us for the PlayStation Five. And Sony never even like recognized them as a real team. <laughs> so like, and, and then and and then Naughty Dog comes over and says, "Oh, we'll just do that." And, and and take the and and take the the remake back, and Naughty Dog for people who don't know about PlayStation's inner workings at their studios, Naughty Dog literally does whatever they want. 
<laughs> yeah. And I mean that with no uh, exaggeration and no joke. Naughty Dog is their gold goose. They can do whatever they want. So when they're told that they want a project, they're giving it. They want to make sure. How much you want to bet if Naughty Dog would have came to them, came to them, and told them, I see where "Hey, with this. we want to make a Days Gone two with the same pitch as Sony Benz does." I bet you they would have said yes. They probably would. They probably would just been like, sure. "You know why?" Because <laughs> because they know that Naughty Dog won't that like yeah, won't mess it, uh, up. mess it up. Yeah, not saying that Ben would mess it up, but like mm-hmm. it's just it's it's crazy. I feel like this is a shame for a studio like Ben who mm. was who first off i think the last time they made it like a game alex do me a favor can you look up ben's games the mm-hmm. last time they made a game i think of their like own volition like of something they wanted was it in like 2009 or something like that because they made something they, they made uncharted golden abyss mm-hmm. and then they were gone for like 10 years until days gone right I think so. Let me see. Let's see. And the ben, all, every time, every time I go to something, it's just it, all it shows is Days Gone. And look, this is coming from the guy who, who, first off, Days Gone had a lot of issues. I didn't love it. I platinum the game. I liked it a lot. It was great. This is coming from the guy who was like, whatever about it. They should definitely make a second one because it's gonna be. I arguably it, it gives them a better chance of making it even better than it was. And you get mm-hmm, a, a mm-hmm. you know. I can kind of get where where you're coming from too with the with not making it Days Gone too because you already got the zombies thing with Last of Us. So it kind of looks like first off, all the first parties already look super similar. So adding even another day like another Days Gone makes Jesus it look so all even more similar. It took long enough for me to find just a list. Everything is just hard, trying to take me to the website. Uh, they've done siphon filter. Golden siphon Eye. filter. That was yeah. That's yeah. the early days. Yeah, in 2007, after the release of Siphon Filters. So, and then they did Resistance. Which one? The first one? After the re- They did re- Resistance Retribution in 2009. Mm. Um, and then Uncharted Golden Abyss. And uh, they released in Japan in 2011. And the United States in 2012. And then Days Gone. So let's see here. Oh, here we go. Here's a list. Uh, 1996, Bugs Bunny 3D. 1999 through all the way to 2007, there was one, two, three, four, five, six siphon filters. That's all they did was siphon filter. Okay, yeah. So, so again, these. Let's say that again. Siphon filter. Mm-hmm. The people have been not dummies. Very talented mm-hmm. people. They're yeah. being they're being put on as a supporting studio. Like what? What? A supporting studio. You want mm-hmm. you want everyone there to 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 make Naughty Dog look better? No offense, but like, wh- why? You, you you there's so much talent in that studio. Like, like, that's what let I was them do their so own much, thing. I was gonna say there's so much talent. Like you never know what they can make that they can be a triple A studio. Mm-hmm. Like like they're pretty much kicking them down. It's like no, you're uh, we know your studio's not good enough, so we're not even gonna give you the idea, and, like like the option to be able to do it. And on top of that, they created anger within their own studios and misty whatever you call it uh, that ben was afraid was afraid that they would liquidate their studio into naughty dog and it, and it was later um uh, told by jason schreier they were already joking about it calling them naughty dog north <laughs> people in naughty dog were already joking that they were not called naughty dog north like that's nuts that Dude, that like that, that what happened it's, it's just crazy because I- Day like that Days Gone two pitch or even Days Gone itself, I would replay Days Gone and Platinum it again before I replay Anthem. Yeah, okay, that's kind of random, but I see what you're saying. I was trying to say like you know like 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 it's so like they have so uh like like you said they had so much potential. Yeah, like I feel like they're uh, being faltered as a like you said as a supporting studio mm-hmm. but like a triple a studio made anthem and you saw how that went i see what you're saying yeah so like you know and again i'm not trying to bully anyone i love night dog it's nuts how not how good night dog is at their jobs what mm-hmm. like no game is anywhere close to as good as the last of us two games none of them nothing 
is anywhere close. I am not saying that superficially or hyper hyperbolic. There is nowhere, there's not another game that's out right now that is even kind of good compared to Last of Us Part 2 and 1. Period. <laughs> I love Naughty Dog. But Bend needs to do their own thing. And I hate saying this, and I hate that this is weird and my, and, and uh animosity now between these two you probably they probably don't like each other anymore uh at least ben probably doesn't like them i know i'm reading a lot into this but it's 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 upsetting and Mm -hmm. and i i'll leave i'll leave with this sony being obsessed with five titles sounds a lot like xbox going into the xbox one where it was halo forza gears that's the three games that we had. Mm-hmm. That's all we ever talked about. That's everything that we mm-hmm. ever mentioned. If it wasn't Halo, Forza, Gears, it didn't exist on the Xbox platform. It was all third parties. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm worried about. That we're looking at a it almost like Don Matrick type of situation where Jim Ryan is going to be looking at these studios and Herman Hulse. I don't want. I don't. A lot of people have been dog buying on Jim Ryan. Herman Hulse is a president of your worldwide studios. He's seeing all of these things. He's the one that didn't like the Last of Us budget uh, with the Mumbar uh, uh, gentleman. There's a lot of things with that guy too that I don't like. Jim Ryan is clearly a businessman. He does not play video games. Mm-hmm. We all miss Mr. Uh, Sean Layden. I'll tell you that right now. Where is he? Where is he? And also, <laughs> like if you want to get going? even spicier, this all makes sense now. Sean Layden left. Shuhei was demoted to go- oh, Indies. 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 Indies, yeah. Which is kind of sad to, to see, what? to be honest, if I'm being real with everyone. Like, that man is wiser than everyone in that studio combined, and you put him in charge of Indies, it's... It's messed up. Second, uh, 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 that's probably why John Drake left and a lot of other people left. A lot of people left at the same time. And I think it's getting mm-hmm. pretty clear because a lot of people saw where PlayStation were going. Like, we don't agree with any of this. We're just going to go and do our own thing now. And that's a shame. Mm-hmm. That's a shame. Um, and uh, what was funny was uh, I want to do something for the Achievers real quick. We mentioned Sean Layden. Okay. Now I don't know if this really happened, so I'm mm-hmm. gonna go straight to his Twitter uh and find out. Okay. I heard on a podcast that people were tweeting out, oh, we miss you, Sean Layden, things like that, right? And apparently he was liking yeah. them. Which that tells you oh. a lot, in my opinion. That tells you a lot. Mm-hmm. So that tells you that he knew what was going on, he didn't agree with any of it, and he left. Let's see. Let's see his likes. Mm-hmm. Let's see how easy this is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it is kind of like him's kind of liking things that are like we miss you stuff. Not a lot of them, it looks like. Mm-hmm. But geez. He's still, he's, he's, I don't think he's ready to come back into the light. I don't think, and there, there's no way he'll ever come back. We will never see or no, hear from him sure. again. No. And a lot of people are giving him credit because of the uh, really cool thing he had at a... What, when was this? Six years ago? Uh, it was at an E3 six years ago. Sean Lane um, uh, saying that it was uh, his ga- the game that they worked on, it wasn't a multi-million seller, but that wasn't the point. They were greenlighting mm-hmm. fun games for fun. And oh, not like... Sure. like Not like... Because... <clears throat> Like and, for them, everything right now is about profit, and they're like, "We need this so, to make money." Thank you, thank you for bringing that yeah. up, Alex. We don't care if it's fun. Thank you for bringing that up, Alex. That, that segues into two, two or three things that I want to talk about, and there's so much I want to talk to you about this. Mm. One, you, you, you uh, get, made a perfect segue for me. Mm. Jim Ryan slash Harmon Holst look at numbers on a board. Like, and say Last of Us is getting a remake. Last of Us. The one that just got remade, like, in 2015, I think it was. I don't know why it's going to sell. And, 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 and that's the reason. Let's not worry about Jack and Daxter or any of these other forgotten-ass games that you could have just for fun remade and made your player base happy and so you don't have to hear about them, at, like, complain about it. Could have made, easily done that, but they ignored it and are doing this weird last of us remake which i'm gonna sit here and complain about it but i will play and buy it so 
I am saying to you as a hypocrite, I will play and buy Last of Us if it gets remade. But that is super lame to do. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I don't really have a, a soapbox to stand on because I literally just said I'll buy and play it. But it's kind of... <laughs> kind of lame that you were making last of us when it just came out and then another thing that was hinted at the reason they greenlit the remake was so that they could resell last of us part two in a package that's another reason oh, why they wanted sure, so sure. they could they, sell, they, sell yeah. a dual collection oh, yeah. together they made that decision before the game came out which is important again this is business they have to think of these things mm-hmm. but that doesn't make it any less gross <laughs> that does it's just strange when you hear about it that way where they that gives them a reason to re-release the game and try and sell it to you again yeah no it's definitely like like you said earlier it's like uh like should we make fun games or should we make a dollar out of this Mm -hmm. and i in a perfect world you get a mix of that the Mm -hmm. reason that you can make a concrete genie or dreams or whatever because you make Mm -hmm. so much money off your god of wars and spider-mans but if you take all that away you become way more like robot terminator like where like Mm -hmm. you lose like the feeling you already don't have a spokesperson jim ryan doesn't play video games so he can't talk about any of this you don't have a phil spencer Mm -hmm. aaron gruberg you don't have a sean layden or a um geo corsi anymore they're all gone so who am I supposed to point to and see like this kind of charismatic yeah. guy that's going to get me excited and talk about video games? Video games are naturally exciting, but when you have someone that you can kind of get what behind, was, it gets more dude? fun. <clears throat> Which one? What was that dude at that? Um, he did that um, that meeting when it was just like cardboard people behind or <laughs> in front of him. <laughs> that was uh, uh, about the specs of that, that was like head, um, that was the head of engine. Oh, God. He's head of engineering uh, at PlayStation. It, it was it was for uh, what wasn't it for game? Is that Gamescom? Um, yes. Uh, what was it? No, no, no. That was the that was a uh, the game de- game developer conference. Developers, yeah, developer conference. Yeah. Oh. I mean, that's he's the person now. Yeah, yeah, him. God, what's his name? I can't believe I'm blanking on this gentleman's name um i honestly i don't it was remember. gdc gdc mm-hmm. ps5 review was it gdc 2020 mike cerny or 2019. mike cerny found it mike cerny. mike cerny good old mike cerny good old mike cerny i i you he's, know he's he's yeah he's, he's a, a he's a he's a techie guy so you know he's not used to talking so i'm not gonna give that's him who that's who's gonna it. come up to the thing to talk about uh, the game and he's gonna talk about the frame rates and the hertz and not show gameplay and then we just fall asleep yep I lo- uh, and again we're messing with you smart Sorry. man we, like, we love that guy what he says the time. Lo- we love that guy alex <clears throat> another reason that we have to think about this too hmm <clears throat> We're seeing all this on the back of Xbox. Literally, it feels like every week giving us a giant plus, right? Mm-hmm. We're getting, they just announced MOB the show day one. Oh we we God, got dude. Outriders day one on Game Pass. Yep. Again, essentially free. I, I always say, you know, 15 or $10, depending on how you pay for it. But at that point, way cheaper than paying 60 bucks for all those games. Both of those oh, games, sure. if you're going to buy them, are $120. Fifth, like ten dollars. That's literally like a full year of of, of Game Pass. And yeah, and you don't itself. just get two games. You get and, and over a hundred games. Yeah, so it's just like we're in different mm-hmm. spectrums. I want to make sure that we put this align in a very specific way. So, Microsoft, Xbox, mm-hmm. PlayStation, mm-hmm. Sony, right? I want to, I want to make it very clear what what these differences are because I don't want to I, I don't want to like muddy the the intel. What we mm-hmm. have here playstation sony microsoft xbox microsoft does not need xbox sony needs playstation so again oh, sure. i get why they need to make these money sacrifices but i don't care mm-hmm. microsoft literally does not care about xbox they made their money back for the 7.5 billion dollar transaction for bethesda in four months i'll say that again 7.5 billion dollars in four months 
we're talking about two di- wildly different companies here. Mm-hmm. Sony is Sony's most, I think, profitable business is PlayStation. I believe I might be mm-hmm. incorrect on that. And I don't think it's their TVs, and I don't think it's their Blu-rays. <laughs> so, like, I was about to say, it you, might if be you get, a, if you get if you get rid of the PlayStation system, what does Sony have? They got a couple movies every few years. And they mm-hmm. have um, the TVs, and they have Blu-rays, and they have a couple other things that I'm probably not thinking of. But okay. the PlayStation is a huge chunk of their cash. So I'm yeah. saying yeah. We, we are talking about two different companies here, so I don't want to necessarily say these are the same situations, but they're yeah. still comparable, I think. I think so, too. I mean, Microsoft is just out of the ballpark because they have PCs. Yeah, I mean, most likely you're listening to this on a microsoft device or software so it's just it's just we're talking about different it's so so it's yeah planets basically so it it is it's different and at the same at the same time but again that's what makes this also so complicated too and i'm a we might be getting a situation where like in two or three years like xbox might actually be a force to be reckoned with but i've been saying that i've been saying that for a long time so I, I'm not super confident where Xbox is either. So as an Xbox fan, I don't mm-hmm. I don't know what to call me, but I, I love both systems. But if you want to say that I'm a fan of whatever, but as a main uh, as a user of Xbox, I'm not 100 percent confident where they are. Connoisseur, yeah. As a connoisseur of Xbox, I don't necessarily mm-hmm. like where we are in that ecosystem either. I've been saying we're going to get a first party game for like six years now. So like, kind of feels like I've been sitting here waiting. I've been saying we're getting PlayStation like releases for a long time now, and we haven't gotten it, any. It's so. just hard. It's just hard because Microsoft is just on another level because of Game Pass. That's true. Yeah, and they don't need necessarily to they get you yeah, that they, games like, because Game Pass exists. They want yeah, you to get exactly, on Game Pass. Like like people like people. I'm not gonna lie. The PS4, you know, people that or PlayStation people that are always up like Xbox's butt. Yeah, is be like, oh, where's your exclusives? Yeah, exclusive, where's yes. your yeah, where's your first uh, your first party people? I'm like, I mean, I don't mind because I have over a hundred games I could play while I wait. That's true. I've never really cared to think about it that way, but I do understand where people are coming from. If you know, they're of course talking critically and want to actually have yeah. a conversation. I see where they're coming from. Where like. I don't have anything I can play just on my Xbox, but do I, at the end of the day, really care? Not really? Yeah. But would I like to have the option? Yes. I want Fable. I want uh, Gears. Which I want we'll May Halos. Eventually. So we'll, so we'll get them. But again, I just want to state that we're talking about two different coins, but I think they have mm-hmm. the same face. So yeah. a little bit them all over. Mm-hmm. Speaking of uh, PlayStation, you did get a new update. Came out yesterday. Oh, was it yesterday? Yeah, yes. I gotta see if, yes. see if it's updated. Mm-hmm. PS5 uh, April update brings a couple things. Uh, <clears throat> they make you able to move PS5 games on uh, external USB drives. So USB, so, does that include like, like hard drives, like two terabyte hard drives? Is that considered yes. a USB drive? Yes. Okay. It's, it's cool. connected by USB, yes. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, I'll just read straight up from the blog. Uh, with this feature, you can now transfer your PS5 games to a USB extended storage from your console's internal storage. Um, again, to reiterate, SSDs are not yet active in the PlayStation, so there's still not a way you can do that. Just so you know. And you are not going to be able to play those PS5 games off of your storage. Just mm. like Xbox, you cannot play PS5 titles on your storage device. It is only for storage. Oh. only storage yeah if you go to play it it will ask you to transfer it mm. which does not take long but you just you do have to factor that into the equation um new social features cross generation share play ps4 and ps5 players can now share play together while chatting in parties this means that a play ps5 control console user can let their friends on a ps4 view their game screen or even oh, cool. try out their ps5 games through share play and vice versa that's awesome. Yes. Options include the ability to share your screen with a friend, pass your controller virtually to a friend, or pass a second controller virtually to play co-op games together. Pretty cool. It's pretty it's pretty cool. But again, that, that was already a feature in PS5s. That is now just going to PS4 and PS5 games. 
Um, there is now a request to join game session feature. Um, uh, certain games will have a request to join, so you can send it, basically a request, and they can hit the button and invite you. Um, there is improved game base. So the game base menu has been approved for quicker access to important content and features. Um, so now there is parties and favorites all in one thing now. Uh, you can now quickly disable game chat and adjust um, players' volumes. Uh, you can now pre-download game updates. Once it's enabled by uh, developers, title updates for games will pre-download to your console if the automatic updates setting is enabled uh, in your system. Um, you can now customize your library in your thing. Uh, you're able to search and hide games in your library, uh, which will kind of help you. Um, there's also new trophy settings, which, you know, me and Alex love our trophies. I love them. The level of trophies that results in automatic uh, capture of a screenshot or video clip can now be customized. Excuse me. So you can now choose to only capture and save images of moments when you earn a higher grade trophy like gold or platinum. Thank We're God. also introducing oh. a new oh, player no. trophy stat screen where you can check out the summary of your trophy level and status at a glance. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. Why are we still on this horizontal garbage? Change it to vertical. No one likes it. No one. No one. Alex, do you like that? When you go to your trophies, it goes horizontally. Mm -hmm. Why is it not in a list vertically so I can see more of them? Oh, man. I don't want to yeah, look I... at a trophy one trophy at a time. Change it back to the vertical. Yeah, I know. It's dumb. I don't yeah. know why they touched it. It was it, it, it just... But that's it. That was your PS5 update. Not much, but there's a couple of cool features. Yeah, I had to check to make sure mine updated. It was, it's fine. Um, apologies, everyone at the Achievers. I meant to put this in the, is it worth your time? I will now say, is it worth your time? Not really. You could have probably guessed all this. You've probably seen it already. But E3 is digital, of course, this year. Um, it is June 12th to the 15th. Um, I did not cover this last week. Again, apologies. I missed it. It was in little text, so my eyes just glanced right over it. So I want to cover it today. PlayStation Plus uh, games for April are um, Days Gone, Odd World, Soulstorm for PS5, and Zombie Army 4, PS4. Um, and again, download them if you have PlayStation Plus. Sorry, not download them. Add them to your library for PlayStation Plus because you might as well. There's no reason not to. First are you excited off, for E3? That's a great question, Alex. Say, Alex, look at me. Right there. Save it for me. Gotcha. That's a, I want to talk to you about that. Gotcha. Um, I'll finish this up and we'll discuss that right now. Uh, PlayStation Plus, very exciting. Very cool. You're getting PS5 games. Um, PlayStation Now, I never talk about, but it's kind of cool that the couple games are getting. They're getting Adventures, Borderlands 3, and The Long Dark. And I believe all of those are already live for you. Uh, which is pretty cool. You can stream them. I was never a fan of PS Now, but there you go. Um, coming to Game Pass uh, this month, we got Grand Theft Auto Five, MLB The Show, of course, NHL Twenty One, uh, and I think there was a few more that I'm missing. Was it? That might have been it, actually. I might be missing yeah, something. I'm pretty past. sure that I'm pretty sure that's 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 it. Oh, um, Zombie Army Four, Ran on Your Parade, and a few more. That should be that should be all of them, which is cool. And then I believe that is all for us today with the news. Oh, and um, very quickly, Sony will not be attending E3. Of course. Um. Uh. So he, okay. So I want to open that question that you just asked me, Alex. Got it. With, am I excited for it? I will now read you everyone who has reportedly backed. I'm gonna put that in quotes. Backed. E3 2021. E3 2021 will return this June. This is from um, gamesindustry.biz from Christopher Drink. Um, it will be backed by Nintendo, Xbox, Capcom, Konami, Ubisoft, Take Two, Warner Brothers, and Coke Media. Now, of course, the ones that we're missing that are huge in that uh, aspect Sony, EA, Activision Blizzard, Sega. Bandai Napco and Square Enix. Those are the usual suspects we would have seen a few years ago at an E3 that are now missing. 
is that saying because they're gonna have their own event uh, so not not playstation but i i because i, I think know. they said that they're not doing one right. but uh square and ea don't they usually have their own most likely they're gonna have their own thing most likely ea is gonna have their ea play thing where they try and make you excited for whatever new sports game is coming out Am I excited for E3? I think it's a fantastic question. I also want the the listeners to tweet, Patreon message, or comment below if you're excited for E3. I think that's a great question because E3 has always been special to me ever since I realized it was a thing yeah. in like 2010 or something like that. Uh, no. Because I saw this was happening. Yeah, I saw that E3 was happening and nothing in my mm-hmm. attitude changed. So in that in that way, I have to say no. Um, I, it's sad to my, say. I, I did. Like, I, was, I was like, oh, I'm excited. I'm, it gives me something to look forward to so, like during the summer. So I want to quickly point out, it might be because a lot of stuff has been happening to me recently with that new house and getting engaged and things like that i might have i might not be in that mood right now maybe but and thank you alex thank you but as of right now if you told me e3 wasn't happening i would be like okay I, I, like either way i'm not super excited either one way or the other that being said if like a future elijah comes in like we're like like through the door like oh uh, e3 2021 was great and then he just runs. Okay, yeah, I, okay. I, I'd be excited. Then. would have looked at him and been like, "Did you see that?" <laughs> yes. okay. Yeah, I was like, I didn't record that. Um, but if if it can capture that E three feeling, the giddiness, the the excitement that I get, no, then yes. But as of right no. now, not really. Now listen to me very carefully. Okay. G4 is back. Okay. Now, are they going to do the thing they do? Like, usually E3. Like, remember, the, the, like, they used, what, like, now we know G4, it's not the same before. Right. Of course. But are they going to try to be? Because isn't Attack of the Show coming back? I'm going to be real with everyone listening. I loved <laughs> G4 when it came out. I still don't fully understand what this even is. What's happening? Yeah, is this I a know. YouTube channel? Is this a website? Is this a Patreon? It's not a TV show. <laughs> is it a TV show? I don't think so, but I don't know. So I have to still keep my guard up. Guard up because I still don't know what technically I'm even getting. So I, I am indifferent, to be honest. I would love to be excited. To be honest, I, I'd love I'd love to be like, yes, like G4 and E3, like my God, like that preteen Elijah would be freaking out right now. But yep. not preteen Elijah is, is looking at it kind of critically like, we, well, I would like to see what you're doing and how your coverage is. Are you even covering things? Is this more of a far away reaction things also we're still kind of in covid so like probably not going to see much quote entertainment in e3 because it's going to be like this kind of zoom meeting type of feeling maybe Mm -hmm. it isn't maybe they are doing press conferences and they want you to think people are there there's so many different ways it's gonna i mean so there's you know there's vaccinations going on there's things that's true that's true alex i i want to ask you because be honest Mm -hmm. i don't know how you'll answer this i'm very excited are you excited for e3 I not super excited because I am excited to an extent because okay. I know I because my mind knows that it's there and it, like I said it gives me hope and it gives me something to look forward to because that's usually what I like really quickly just to to, to point out uh mm-hmm. e3 is free so there is no like pay thing you would just watch now, it no you, okay you, you go back to your thing I just want to say that well, and it's weird. Like, I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Okay. They keep saying E3 was is free. Yeah. But to watch it, it's always been free. So why reiterate that? Because there was, because they had that, I, I think people were quote, quote unquote, worried that 
because there's not phys- uh, physical there's not a anything. physical place to go and pay and make e- e- the esa so money they, would have, they thought they would have to charge they were gonna get charged so they probably thought like oh is it gonna be like 10 bucks a day to gotcha. watch or something honestly i wouldn't have been shocked by that but they're gonna make the majority of their money from the very nice people i'm sure at these giant studios we just named giving them money for ad mm-hmm. ad space ad time essentially e3 is now a block of time mm-hmm. for these companies to show up with now do they say it's a digital only event yes the the they, yes it is so a, they did say it's only digital yes it okay. is an only digital event there is not a place i believe you can go to be at e3 Okay, because I was gonna say I sense. know the E3 conferences. I know they usually are like on a on a stage, and you can do that digital. But like you know, the thing after where people actually go and demo the games and things like that, is that gonna be a thing? Because, like for example, theme parks are opening now with certain limitations. I didn't know if they would do that. I don't think so. I think they'd be too afraid, if I'm being honest. Okay. Um, for various reasons I'm not going to get into right now. But I think no, they'd be sure. way too afraid. Uh, but I do see where you're coming from. Like, I'm sure they could figure something out if they really wanted to. Yeah. I, th- I think they're going to, whoever goes to E3 and wants to show a game off, is either going to send um, press people trailers or they're mm-hmm. going to have exclusive press zoom slash discord call things where all right we're gonna show you what this game looks like uh this is a behind closed doors thing so you can talk about this thing but you can't talk about this thing until this time so Mm -hmm. i'm assuming we're getting more of like a discord thing and then the people are gonna tell us what they thought about it afterwards and etc etc it's cool i like it i want e3 i i i I will watch it but as of right now i can't think of a single thing that i'm excited for but Mm -hmm. we still have so many games this we still have a whole half of a year we don't know anything about period now bigger question and you're probably gonna say no (laughs) (laughs) okay you know how this whole switch pro thing has been rumored yes rumored it's it's real but yes now do you think we'll see it this year at e3 no because nintendo does its own thing I, and yeah. Nintendo, out of every, and I'm glad, I'm almost glad I don't work in the Nintendo world. To be honest <laughs> with you, uh, because I'd have to try and figure out what Nintendo is doing. Yeah, Nintendo, by far, is the most cryptic and oh, unguessable sure. company I think in the games industry. That's probably that's probably why Reggie left. He's like, I have no idea what <laughs> you're doing, and I'm the boss. I'm just leaving. <laughs> I I really just I don't know, and I don't mean that as, he really as an insult. It, it's just yeah when i think they're going left they go up like i i don't like they go somewhere where i'm like i didn't even think you could do that Mm -hmm. um and somehow they still have a terrible internet service in 2021 so like there's so many things i'm confused by by nintendo so i can't speak on anything i i want to say in my mind they're gonna reveal it maybe in july august time maybe closer to september it's gonna be their own direct they're mm-hmm. gonna they're gonna yeah. tell you like three or four days before. Hey, be there, be square. They're gonna showcase it, tell you a bunch of stuff. They're gonna be like, "This can play." What? What's it? Yeah, ten eighty. Oh, that, and, we're, and I'm supposed to lose my mind. Oh, still ten eighty. Well, he's into rumors. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be an OLED screen. It's supposed to be outputted at four K. I'm docked. just hoping docked. Docked. Yeah, to, yeah. To be clear okay. for everyone, I don't yeah, know docked. how many people know. Yeah, docked. 4k yes but i'm hoping that the screen itself is at least 900 because i or at least or not maybe hopefully the God, rumor was 720 1080 Ugh, the rumor was it was still 720 thing. that was the rumor i thought i read if you want to double check actually you can but i'm pretty mm-hmm. sure the rumor i read was it was still 720 but it's an oled screen i might be wrong it might be a 1080p screen but who knows mm-hmm. i i i don't again I have no idea. Also, how much more expensive do they want this thing? Because I heard people saying this is going to be $300. Yeah. It is not going to be 300 bucks. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be a 7-inch display, 720 resolution OLED panels. Uh, yeah, they're essentially get, Samsung. yeah, they're essentially getting rid of bezels. So it's the same exact switch almost. It's just no bezel. Mm-hmm. 
Samsung will work on the OLED panels targeting, and it says targeting the delivery on June 2021 for them. So does that mean, so the they're not even finishing the systems. They're, this, 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 the panels, the screens are going to be done this June. Yeah, that's pretty on, on mark because... Yes, yeah, so the like systems won't even be done. So they will probably the system will probably won't come out till next year. I mean, it's not too crazy to say like uh, like for instance, PS Five Series XS, all those went to to distribution and market, not market, sorry, to distribution. I would say early August, late August ish. So mm -hmm. it's not crazy to say that they would get all get the panels, get them construction and ready for a November release. But mm -hmm. Nintendo does what Nintendo wants. If they want to release it in March like they did the Switch and sell a million thousand, a hundred thousand million, seventy million, mm -hmm. they sure can because they're Nintendo and they literally do what they want. Dude, I Nintendo's Nintendo. You could tell me Nintendo's gonna release this when Mario comes back to life, and I'll be like, okay, makes sense. You can sense. tell me that Nintendo's gonna release Halo, and I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> they're making a new Halo. It's like okay. Speaking of which, Alex. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Speaking of which, this is an extra long... First off, this is an extra long episode. Thank you so much for make, making it this far, first off. You, we skipped a week. We had to so, bring it back. Yeah, we had to come back. Strong. First, second off, thank you, Alex, so much. You're on fire today. I appreciate you. I love doing this podcast with you, brother. Yeah, yeah. Third off, there's been some scuttlebutt between mostly fans. I wouldn't say any insiders have actually given any of this credence. Mm -hmm. But I want to ask two simple questions that I saw on Twitter today. I'm going to start with the first one since we're talking about Switch. Will Xbox Game Pass ever come to the Nintendo Switch? Uh, see, my mind wants to say yes, but my mind wants to say no. My As body's I'm, telling me yeah. So I, if you would have asked me this last year. Fuck when Kelly. Started, Interesting. Um, <laughs> if you would have asked me this last year when Cuphead had came out and Ori had came out on the Switch, I would have said yes. Right now, may, I'm like on the maybe going to a no. I'm a hard no, okay. but I used to be a big yes, to be honest with you. Um, so around the time Cuphead, around the time they did the Rare Replay th rumor thing happening, I mm -hmm. thought... Microsoft, and I think they were, if I'm being honest. I really do think Phil mm. and higher management were trying to grease up Nintendo and and be like, hey, um, you know, we're gonna give you these couple titles. We hope you release them. Uh, you know, I hope, I hope our partnership can keep going and strengthen. Uh, and mm. I think Nintendo went, go fuck yourself. And they were like, okay, <laughs> to be just frank with ever. I don't think I think. I think they probably were flo floating the idea. Nintendo, first off, Nintendo wasn't the only one to laugh at Microsoft at the room. They did that with the original system because Microsoft was going to buy out Nintendo. This is uh, this is crazy stuff. Microsoft originally, instead of making their own Xbox, were going to buy Nintendo. They went to talk to them about the system and all that stuff and like what they were going to do. They literally laughed at them at the meeting. They sat there, looked them dead in the eye, and laughed at them hilarious hilarious to just think about that that two people that are seriously making a system went to demo it to the data they just straight up laughed at them that's amazing that's amazing the guy even said he was like that's one of the most humiliating things that's happened to me in my life and so it's one of the best reads ever it's i believe uh 10 years of xbox history i think is what it was called mm -hmm. I, or 20 years of xbox history i think this is what it's called uh, you can yeah. search it but fantastic read but uh, uh, back to the serious note, I don't think it will probably ever happen because of Nintendo. It won't be anything Microsoft does. No, Nintendo no. is just, they want to make their money. They don't want to make someone else's money. And also that makes, if, how do I say this? Game Pass coming on to Switch, first off, would that would have to make this, the Switch have good internet. And that's just not mm -hmm. going to happen unless Microsoft fixes it or something. Yeah. Second, Nintendo has is a very Japanese company with Japanese and um, not to sound uh, uh, offensive or anything, but they are very proud people. They're very proud. They take mm -hmm. honor in their work very literally. Um, I don't think they would ever do that with Microsoft. I, it just strictly on the thing of, of just pride and knowing who they were with Microsoft. Like, no, we're not doing that. We Imagine. make we make our 
stuff ours we don't do things for you mm-hmm. like we're not gonna make get, sell our almost 100 million units now system mm-hmm. and to help you like this is for us and our company yeah again I, i'm just a guy that reads up some of the news and it's just pe- trying to piece things together but Imagine that's what i think pokemon on xbox i can't i literally cannot i can't that would exactly. mean pokemon runs well and i just can't picture that happening oh yeah. i said it alex will playstation ever get game pass no 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 <laughs> god no but they are apparently making their own thing with they remember there's something there right now they're on the works on something to counter punch the game pass oh yeah yeah that's a, that's such a weird way of putting that because mm-hmm. that is basically what they said but it's like what does that mean you have ps now and no one likes it so are you gonna try and change that into something because eventually they're they're gonna have to give up on the streaming thing or Mm -hmm. improve it in some way yeah it says the playstation uh playstation game pass rival was reportedly in the works yeah (laughs) again i don't mean to sound like a like xbox fanboy or something but like mm-hmm. does so uh, sony has a lot of money do they have the money to throw around like it like like X- xbox again i mean they're they might as well be setting just money on fire like it, like mm-hmm. it's almost as fast as what they're doing so it's just so different but they could do it i think they would have to go over a quality I'd- over quantity standpoint because the quantity of game pass is uh, astronomical and and and, and unbelievable no. playstation first off playstation doesn't want you on a subscription service they want you to pay 60 dollars every when the games come out they don't want you to get on a subscription service i don't think i think they want they want you to buy the games now i don't feel like it's gonna work or it's gonna be completely different from game pass because um i mean they're really i was like what we say earlier are they're really they're really uppity about their money so yeah. are they re- like you said are they really gonna want to throw away money i don't think so i don't think so too and also like if they're not throwing away money to make <sighs> games that are fun or people to <laughs> just to, just to be like here's the game yeah then they're not gonna do that no yeah they're i think right now they're very risk adverse they are they do not want to make m- many risky yeah, bets no. right now they're because like, they're like these I, five games are working this is what we're st- sticking yeah, to you stole the words right from my mouth Alex. they they found a formula and they want to keep executing. Sean mm-hmm. Layden said something very, very important when he was leaving. This is before we knew again. As a reminder, again, as a reminder, Sean Layden just left one day. And we still don't know why. So I, I'm still fibering us that, that that happened and we still don't know what's going on. Mm. I still am blown away by that. Really quickly, though. Uh, Sean Layden said something very important around the time he was he was leaving. We have to find a way to. Games are getting too expensive. We have to find a way to turn around games either faster for either quicker or a uh, slower and less money because they're just getting too expensive to make. Now, if you get a bunch of supporting studios and you make those games seventy hundred dollars with you know DLC and stuff. Maybe that's what he was talking about. Maybe he was talking more about this Spider-Man, Sp- Spider-Man Miles Morales situation where you make a game and then you make a side game and then you make a sequel. Maybe he was talking about that. There's a bunch of different ways you can interpret that. But I think that is the crux of what we're seeing in Sony right now. They're trying to see how can we maximize profits in such a way that we not only get our AAA games out that make us sell a bunch of consoles, but also make us a huge sum of money without dumping hundreds of millions into a single project that will only make us 10, 20, 30 million in, in the process. We want the, we want quadruple that, things like that. So I think that's what I think that's what we're looking at. We'll see what happens. <sighs> we will see. Yeah. Speaking of seeing. <laughs> You can come over to Easy Achievers on YouTube or podcast service of a choice every single Friday to first see or hear our beautiful face and our voices. Hey there. And if you don't... How you doing? There you go. I like that. And if you want to support us, 
I said at the beginning of the show, I'll reiterate one more time for you. Patreon.com slash CG Achievers. Give us a dollar. That gives you not only all the tiers I've mentioned with the ability to talk with us privately, the ability to post, the ability to chat with community members and things like that. It also gives you questions, comments, your thoughts, and our ideas. Message to us and we can put it on the show. Now, if you're a freeloader, cheapskate, or if you just want to save a couple bucks, we understand. We've all been there. I've... I completely understand. You can go over YouTube. Look at our pretty faces. Like, comment, subscribe. That helps us out with those algorithms. Then, if you listen on your podcast, if you listen on that podcast, don't worry. Five-star review that helps those algorithms pick us up. The more achievers can join this wild and crazy band we call life. Crazy. Wild and crazy guys. That was an SNL skit. That was the joke. They just said that a lot. <laughs> Alex. I want to relax a little bit, and I want to send the achievers out gracefully. And we've kept them here long enough. We're 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 going a little long here, so I want to keep it kind of short. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Really quick, I'm not going to end on what we're going to play because I don't think it, anything interesting is going to be set. I want to leave out on <laughs> one thing you want to see changed from PlayStation, and one thing you want to see changed from Xbox. I'll start off. PlayStation, I okay. would love to see. Um, I would love to see a return to their past. Maybe to learn from it. Yes. Maybe to get some backwards compatibility. I would also like someone to assist maybe Herman Holster, Jim Ryan with their uh, their ideas of, of, of numbers maybe being the ultimatum. Numbers are very important and that's how you stay in business, how you stay competitive. But it's also important to remember this is art and a way of expressing yourself. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's important to showcase that rather than worry about the back end. Now, again, we are talking about a lot of rumors. I don't know either of those two men personally, so I can't speak to their actual beliefs. I'm just speaking on rumors. Mm-hmm. One thing I'd like to change about Xbox is I would love to see their first parties blossom and grow. Not only that do they have a large studio base now, they have over 20 studios now with the purchase of Bethesda, I believe. I want to see I want to see not only the their ability to ship games well and efficiently. I want them to showcase their le- leadership. I think it's very hard to to not only control 20 studios but also direct them in a way that you're not getting random games out of every few months and games releasing it uh, next to each other like don't we saw a, with ghost of Shima switch last dilemma where there's just so many like 100 indies that don't make sense you, you know yeah you could argue that too it, it, try to cultivate a lineup that makes sense and things like that those and those are just one from each thing i'd love change alex what are yours mm-hmm. um the xbox one is about the same for me i want them to you know just um, focus on their first party and just see, um, even if it's a new IP, just say like, see, uh, I both of these uh, for Xbox and PlayStation, I'm gonna say, um, I think Xbox is doing better, is just um, listen to the community. Yeah. So just like for PlayStations, like not to worry about too much of, uh, I mean, I'm gonna say it, what can make them the most money. Yeah. Um, I'd rather than be like, hey, what are people going to enjoy more? And people are going to be like, um, just, just, I mean, what do people want? So, for mm-hmm. example, it's like, oh, they want this. Let's see if we can make this happen on a for, on a sure, yes, in a budgetable level, so they they can earn the money, but not make something be like, not trying to push something to where like, okay, this is that's enough. Like I don't want something the same thing over and over again until I'm just tired of it. Well said. Like yeah. Well said. I I I, I agree with the overall sentiment of that. I, I especially feel the um. I I would hate to double down on God of War again, mm-hmm. and keep doing that. I mm-hmm. love God of War. It's probably one of my favorite games ever. Mm-hmm. Rag. I, I hope I don't get Ragnarok. And then in two or three years, get the sequel. And then two or three years, get a middle. I, I don't want to. I don't want to see a pattern. 
Mm-hmm. I don't mind getting a game and then letting it breathe for three to four years, learning from some mistakes and lear- learning from what's learning developing around you. Assassins. And <laughs> learn from Assassins indeed. And on that note, like, yeah. And on that note, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. An extra long episode this week. Mm-hmm. We, we like spending time with you guys. So remember, comment down below. What are you? Are you excited for E3? Uh, it's a question I'm actually interested in hearing about. Is that something that you want? Or do you care anymore? I mean, we did get a year without it. Is it kind of gone from your headspace? That's kind of how I feel. I haven't just really thought about it, to be honest. Remember, we love you. Thank you so much for listening. And again, as always, never forget. Go Chief. Go Chief.